you've seen me on YouTube, you've commented on Instagram, you've asked for a toy room tour, here it is. So lying on the bed, this is what I see. So I got a wall mounted 37 inch TV. Um, excuse the wires, they're a bit of a mess at the moment. I've got my computer set up here. And then I've got, on the wall here, I've got Sports Almanac, framed from Back to the Future, part two. I've got Bigfoot figure on this shelf. This is where I like to keep, um, I rotate them every month or so and I put figures that I really like, you know, my best figures basically, my show pieces. So I've got Bigfoot here from TMNT CGI line. And I've got, um, I've totally forgotten his name, Jin Tama. It's from the Jin Tama series and it's, oh. Jakoti Sakata, I think his name is. Um, an awesome figure that I got from Japan. My cousin brought him a couple of years ago from Japan. Was it a couple? Maybe three years ago now. Absolutely quality looking figure. Proper love him. So he's one of my prized possessions. Then on above the TV, I've got two awesome pictures. This one is one that got given to me when I was at uni, so this was about 2006, 2007, someone gave it to me. And it's actually from a Smash Hits poster um, that my, a good friend of mine at uni had found um, underneath her bed. And it basically, it's an old poster that came out of Smash Hits in the 80s um, when the film first came out. And it's so cool. I mean, look at the detail on it. Look at all these blueprints and speeds of the car, little bits about it, awesome picture there, introducing it, lovely breakdown there of the car, I mean that's cool or what. And on the other side it's actually got uh, Michael J Fox sitting on the bonnet of the DeLorean so it was a bit of a toss up but I thought this one definitely looks better, it looks a bit weird me having a picture of him sitting on a bonnet. And then I got a canvas of the front cover of Save the Clock Tower, which my cousin made for me for my birthday a good 10 years ago, maybe. Um, awesome looking thing. I mean, the detail on this, look, it's got everything down to a T. Really good. He works for a printing company and a sign company, so that is a quality present. Absolutely love it. So this is sort of my Back to the Future corner, as it were. Um, then I've obviously got the door. Then I got a couple of pictures here. Um, these two, they're on like really hard sort of like almost like concrete cement boards um, and they're wicked. I got this one of a weird sort of Pinocchio with like a bomb and doves, all very arty for me. And this one from Star Wars. I got these given to me as a present um, good 15 years ago maybe, maybe not as much. So pretty awesome. That was from my um, cousin. Also got this awesome PlayStation 1 clock or PSX clock that would give me a good friend of mine who lives near me up here. Um, got that for my birthday a couple of years ago. Absolutely love it. And this is proper cool because it ejects. And that's where the batteries go in. Really like it. So it's a proper PlayStation. It's got the proper power button and everything. Really cool. Um, then I got this quality picture from my favourite film of all time. And I'm a massive horror fan, so my favourite horror of all time. Signed by Eileen Dick, which is um, Eileen Deek. Um, she was the makeup artist on The Exorcist. That was given to me by my sister-in-law. Um, for Christmas one year, about five, six years ago. Awesome present. Absolutely love it. Um, now I'll show you some of the bits on the bed before I go to the main shelving unit. I have this little guy that I picked up last year. Really cool looking guy. 
Um, he is from, I've forgotten what it is, but it's a theme park. It is called... Da, 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 da. Oh, it doesn't say where he's from. Where it's from. But he's the huggable Narky, but he's the sort of naughty Narky version because he's got the dark red eyes. He's got the sort of Dracula style cape with the big rat tail. Pretty awesome. I've got a Count Dracula um, from the year. Does it say the year on it? Not sure if it does. No, it doesn't. But this is actually my wife's, and so is this one. Moomin, they're her too. Um, then I got a little Freddy Krueger, he's cool, they're all starting to fall over now. I got a Spock that my mate won for me in Great Yarmouth Arcades a good few years back, about six years ago. Got a little goofy plush from Kingdom Hearts, I really love this guy, I got him at a car boot last year or two years ago. And they also do Mickey and Donald. So I would like to get those. And then I've got this Spike. He's seen better days. He's got a bit of stitching here and everything. But Spike from Gremlins. Got him in a charity shop a couple of years ago. I think for about a pound or something like that. Awesome bread sp bedspread. Change it every so often. Different turtle ones. Um, Right. Now let's get to the good bit. I'll start at the top. So I've got like a lava lamp. got... Um, these are two mugs. This one is my original one from um, when I was a kid. As you can see, it's pretty faded and yeah, really sort of like used and abused. And then I got a nice new one that picked up. Really quality. Oh, and I forgot that was in there. I've got from the 2007 line, Max Winter's sword and helmet sitting in there. Ready for one day when I pick up uh, the actual character. So I've got this Frankenstein that I got from um, from a car boot. And he has a cool little brain in it and he actually makes some noises. I've got this awesome boxed Akuma figure that I've never opened. Got that as a birthday present from one of my mates about 10 years ago now. Quality present. Um, I've also got, this is where I keep most of my box stuff up here, right at the top. Basically, as the shelves go up, um, I keep the more expensive stuff and the stuff that I don't want my daughter to play with, basically. This is Vincent from Final Fantasy VII, my favourite ever character from Final Fantasies. And in Final Fantasy VII, he is awesome. Um, I'll just move this Dorian box out of the way. You can see the one with the box. Really cool. Really love the look of him. And then I got this Chucky. And this is actually one of the first um, items I ever got for my collection. I got this on my 18th birthday. So that is a good... What was that? That's... 2001, I think, is that correct? Uh, yeah, 2001, I got I got this figure. Sorry, I couldn't even do the maths, I'm that old. Um, quality, got this from my cousin. Never opened him. Really nice looking figure. Love it. I got this DeLorean from one of my uncles for Christmas. I mean, just going through some of this stuff, I realised how many cool presents my family have got me, actually. Really awesome presents, so I'm pretty lucky in that respect. Got a DeLorean from Back to the Future 1. Kept in its box. Um, really nice from the Welly company. Um, yeah, I got that as, for a Christmas present about maybe eight or so years ago. Now I've got this Baxter Stockman. He is quite a rare figure. I've totally forgotten the name of this type of figure, but really rare and I got this in a bundle a few years back where, that I just picked up for like 20 quid a bundle of all these figures and I found all these parts and managed to put most of him together he has his little missile here um, or little sort of rocket he's got the black missiles at the back can you see there's three of them he's meant to have I've got two of them so he's basically almost all complete apart from that one missile 
and he should have a little plastic visor bit going over the top here. Apart from that, he is complete and he is awesome. He's a really rare figure. I think I've seen him go loose for about anything from 30 quid to about 65, 70 quid. So that's pretty awesome. Um, those of you who have seen my Back to the Future um, advent calendar um, unboxing, you'll know where that comes from. That is the set of the clock tower. Um, this is a Coca-Cola van, that, a lorry that I got ages ago. I just kept it because I really like Coca-Cola and I love some of the memorabilia. And I've got loads of other little bits, but I thought I'd just put this one out because it's still in this box. This is an original turtle van with all stickers. And yes, I know that sticker is upside down, the mouth. But apart from that, it's in amazing condition. And I picked this up for... £22 I think it was on Spock believe it or not and this was about five years ago four or five years ago and then I got Carl Bunker Carl van here from the 2007 movie line which is quality has some of the pizzas with it and I got the box one of my unboxings is on my channel of that as well and I got that from one of my good uh, fellow sellers um, dealers Rainbow Dog, um, thank you very much for that, it's absolutely awesome. I've got a lamp up there that I got from Norwich Toy Coop Show. Um, picked that up pretty cheap along with the one on my light, which I'll show you over there, which is really cool. Probably needs a little bit of dusting. I'm hoping this ain't too bright. Can you not? But, there you go. All the turtles in there, really awesome. Um, I got a little VW Beetle that my mum got me. I really like VW Beetles, so she got me one of those. And I've also got a black one of the same sort of style, but my daughter really loves playing with the black ones. So that one's downstairs at the moment. I got this little guy. Yes, he talks. I also picked him up from the Rainbow Dog. Oh, such a prima donna. Very apt, perfect. And I've got another one of these sort of jelly guys, complete with crazy scream teeth, so a ghost face. Pretty awesome. Right, let's get down to the shelves, because this is already 12 minutes long, this video. These are all the items from the Back to the Future advent calendar. I will post the link below of my unboxing of that, so you can, if you want to check it out. Do check it out and it's got some awesome little details i love some of the figures here including this amazing one of my favorite items that i picked up last year this hologram family photo so cool such a nice touch then i got the classic collection turtles up here um, along with some sunglasses that i got from robo toys there um, and a book that one of my good family friends got for me of horror stuff and I've also got a monster one behind there by John Landis which is an awesome quality book definitely check it out this one's basically got loads of video nasty um, covers and posters it's really awesome next section has got my Defenders of the Earth uh, figures which I got last year and my VHS which I've had for a while I just need to start collecting the six ships now but really cool Love all of these. So we've got obviously Flash, got Lofar, got Mandrake, who's my favourite, complete with cape. And we've got Ming with his staff and the cape. Got Gorax, who has seen better days. And then we've got Panther with his gun. So really cool. Really love the look of those. and They look great just sitting there. Such a simple box, but it's one of my favourite ones. Then we got the Back to the Future section. Um, you can see all my three DeLoreans. These are wellies as well, but it's the one, two and three versions. And because I had the one up there, I wanted to keep them in there. I decided to take these three out. I got the little Lego Marty McFly there with the Lego DeLorean, which I will put the link below so you can see me making that as well. I've got these, uh, so Biff's automotive detailing and all these little cards. I picked these up when I went to an enchantment under the sea dance for 
my godson's 18th birthday party a few years back. That was absolutely quality. You had actors in it and everything. And I've also got a little ho hoverboard. And I've got the Amiga game. Which is pretty cool. Of Back to the Future Part 3. Right, next section. So this is my sort of knick-knack shelf. Just a big mishmash of everything. I've got some random little bits that I've got from... So that I got on a stag, which was awesome. I got the Pennywise the Clown, which I'm going to have to make a proper section once I start collecting these Toonie Terrors. I got a little tiny bottle of Madeira wine. I got Pluto here, who is from actually the Kingdom Hearts toy line, which I got years ago, including the shadow right at the back there. Anger from Inside Out, who is absolutely awesome. I will link down below as well to my video of all the things that he says because he's quality. Got a gizmo that I picked up last year there and I got a stay puff which I picked up last year as well for, but that is the version from Playmobil. I got a little Greek god there, what's his name, Leonidas um, which I got from my cousin who went there years ago. Got a congratulations from when I graduated there, little pig with a scroll. I got the makings of the beginning of my little Grandpa Max from Ben 10 Army there, which I got free of. Um, still on the lookout for more of him. I got this little guy, I've forgotten his name, but he is the mascot from the Portugal Euros, um, which I got that figure, and it's quite an odd figure, so I really love, love having him. And I got this little Luke Skywalker bust stamp, which I got from my little cousin who gave me last year. Oh yeah, and a Kingdom Hearts Kingdom key. Absolutely quality looking key ring. Right, let's get down to the main collection. So this is my vintage TMNT enemy shelf. Um, you'll see that there isn't just the vintage ones here, but, but the majority are. So I've got obviously Bebop, Shredder, Rocksteady, Foot Soldier... Um, I got a few more foot soldiers here. I got the mutating shredder, got Genghis Frog, Napoleon Boner Frog. I got um, the Army Rocksteady, whatever he's called, and I put that flag on. I know it doesn't belong belong to him. I got Panda Khan. I got Baxter Stockman there. Got the Rat King. Got oh, I've totally gone blank on. The robot guy. Totally gone blank what he's called. And this bug guy as well. Yeah, completely gone blank. And the gecko, Mondo Gecko there. And then I've got a few other guys that just look cool from all the, from a few different variations. They're from the 2004 line. But they just look pretty cool, some of the figures. So that is that lot. Then what i done, the next four, basically, along this shelf, I split them into turtles and some odd ones. So I've got, obviously, Slash there. Um, and Casey Jones from 2004 line and a furry little splinter um, probably not his cane but I like him where, uh, holding that and I've got Toon Shredder there but then I've got all Michelangelo's basically this is my Michelangelo shelf so there's not many here and another foot soldier really nice looking foot soldier that one's a better example than the other one with one of his weapons yeah, so I've got a few of the Michelangelo's. I've got a classic there, minus his belt, but with some of the weapons. i got the one from the, the Samurai one. i got the silly one there. I've forgotten what they're called again. Then I've got all these different variations from different times. So these are obviously from the 2012 one, a couple of them. I've got the 2004 there. And I've got a few more 2004 line ones there. This is my Donatello one. So I've got the Toon Donatello. I've got the movie Donatello. This is probably my best one because I've got some complete things like the Undercover Dawn, the um, the Classic Turtle, and then I've got two versions of the 2012 Turtle, the Pizza Flipping Turtle. I've got a few of these here. I've even got the Mike, dreaded Michael Bay one tucked in the corner there. I got the Samurai one, which has got quite a lot of his accessories. I got an awesome robot one. I got the troll one with his little sickle. I got this guy as well, who's I think like some sort of knockoff, but he's pretty awesome. 
I got April there that I picked up this last just the end of last year. Really awesome. And then another cool thing, I've got one of these which I got in the same bundle that I had that Baxter Stockman. That weird robotic Baxter Stockman that I showed you earlier. I picked I had one of these and I got another one and they're the glow in the dark um turtles that come from the used canisters. This is now my raft shelf. Got this cool guy that I got as a secret Santa from my work, which was pretty awesome. And I also have got this guy, which is a really cool looking little figure. I got Raf almost complete there, just missing one side. I got Fugitoid. Got Splinter, who is basically complete as well. He is awesome. And I've got all these other Raffs here from all different versions. One of my favourite figures here is the mummy version of them again mixes two of my favorite things turtles and monsters especially the universal monsters absolutely quality and then he's got a few more little accessories there and one of my original videotapes from when i was younger then this is my leo shelf which is looking quite crowded just like the donny one i've got a couple of splinters here this is from the 2012 one and this guy is from the Michael Bay films. Now I hate the look of all of them, but this figure, there's something about this figure. Really like the look of him. Love the detailing on him, the sandals, the sword. Everything looks pretty cool about this figure. Let me know what you think. I got these two versions of the Leo. I got Wolfman Leo there from the vintage toy line. Another one from the 2012 line. I got the classic original Leo there, basically complete with his two katanas. Also got loads of different iterations of Leo's here. All different versions. Another troll one there that I found. This weird, almost Pez thing, but it's some sort of knockoff because I can't find him anywhere and I've asked on loads of different identification groups and no one seems to be able to. So it looks like someone's actually created this. It's the weirdest thing in the world, but I absolutely love him. I'm never going to sell that. Um, yeah. Now, I'm going to avoid the next shelf so I can end on it because it's pretty awesome. So I'll do a quick cut here. So this is where the hi-fi is. I've just realised there's a little character down there. That's my daughter playing with uh, my little eagle. Here he is. So you can go back up there. show you that shelf in a second um got this box here which has loads of my stock in it and i'm going to get a few more boxes because once the car boots start up again i'm sure i'll fill these boxes up fast and plus loads of these books hopefully won't be here because i'll have a shelf eventually underneath the tv um so it's got some things here i've got ultimate star wars there which was given to me by my auntie I've got a great movie which was given to me my wife. Got this little box which has got um, all the little mega blocks um, things which I've done a video of as well. Got my vinyl player here which is like a portable vinyl player. Got this little item that I found at a charity shop and I still haven't set it up yet. Really intrigued to see how these would set up and it might look a quite good display. Basically it just goes on the wall and they can cross along it so it's cool to set it up in one of the corners um then i got a few other little bits i've got uh rolling stones um program from their concert a couple of years back i've got uh dc comics encyclopedia as well kingdom hearts hd um guide I got this that my cousin got me and gave me, it was his, so that's really awesome. And then I got these free comics that my mum got me. There's Where is the Sting? Die Sting. Batman in the 70s, which is pretty cool. Um, Batman Tales of the Demon, this is awesome as well. I mean, I'm not really a comic fan, but these are pretty cool and they got given to me by my mum, so quality i've got this that i picked up last year which is the book of mo some funny stuff in there i was going to sell it but i picked it up 50p so i had to keep it because there is some really funny stuff in there um vhs vhs 
um, if I can speak properly. Um, that sounded really weird for a second. VHS um, special edition, The Exorcist, twenty fifth anniversary. This is from like nineteen ninety seven or something like that. Absolute quality. It's got loads of awesome stuff in there. Really love this thing. I'm not sure if I'll be able to open it. Yes, I will. It's got like a book in there. It's got some production stills. It's got some really quality stuff in there. Um, and also I got this Simpsons World thing, which is seasons 1 to 20. Every single episode in there, full of trivia and everything. And here's where I got some of my Blu-rays, some of my original VHSs. Um, basically, most of it is in the garage, but I've brought a few bits up here that I use a bit more often. Um, and then eventually I will sort it once I get my shelves. Now I got these four turtles, which are two, from the 2012 line. These were given to me by a couple of good friends of mine a couple of years ago for my birthday. Really awesome, and they got nearly all their weapons as well, so they're really cool. And then I got this guy, Mikey Shell Shifter. Um, he is quality, absolutely wicked. He moves, and yes, this figure is like six and a half, seven inches, and then they're sitting on that. So this is like a good... 12 inch figure pretty awesome and yeah it moves backwards and forwards it should have rockets and missiles but i don't have any of that these are all my remote controls and this changes color of everything so that's pretty cool let's put it back to white because it looks pretty smart right let's do the last five let's we're in the home stretch now this is my cartoon horror section, which really started expanding in the last couple of years. I've got a little Casper there that I'm trying to work out how I can pose him because he doesn't stand up. Um, I've got these two little ghost things here, which I really like. And then I've got five McDonald's things that I got last year. This one from Toys and Beyond, who's a fellow collector and dealer of mine. And these four I got on eBay really cheap. I think they were like 99p each. Got this little guy that my daughter absolutely loves. I mean, oh, he's from something like, I can't remember what it's called. Something high. And his tongue comes out. He's pretty awesome. And then I've got this little eagle. I'll try not to make everything fall over. This is really hard to do while I'm filming. Little eagle from the film Eagle. Or oh, is it from Frank and Weenie? I can't remember. This quality little Pez. Um, I got some of the little Dracula series here. There's a couple of figures I'm still missing. But I got Garlic Man there, which is awesome. And I got two little Draculas, and it's a shame this one doesn't work. It's the one that lights up and his eyes light up. And I got two Toxic Crusaders. I got Headbanger and Psycho there. Um, really awesome. Got those randomly. Um, just as time went by. Now, the next one. I've got these five cars. They make a few of these, but they are awesome. My wife found me this one at a charity shop. And basically, of course, as soon as I pick up one thing, I have to find the other. So I got these on eBay, really cheap, in a bundle with some other toys. And they are wicked. This guy proper reminds me of Simpsons. And some of the detailing on these guys. So cool. I mean, that's like a hearse. Me in a coffin. They're just quality looking guys. Got all these little Scooby-Doo figures. They all glow in the dark. Um, also got that little figure that I picked up. This green guy. Looks like the creature from the Black Lagoon. And this wolf. I've forgotten the line that that's from. And now I've kept this little goblin. I'm not really into superheroes too much. But he's got a pumpkin in his hand. So I've decided to keep him. And then I've got this cool werewolf that I picked up last year. I got... This vamp Dracula from the KFC toy line. I got these cool looking guys, this pumpkin man from Scooby Doo and this ghost from Scooby Doo. I got this awesome the, the Dracula. There is a guy in there. I won't open it up and tilt him, but basically he rises and that is from the Burger King toy line. If I remember correctly, or was that the KFC one? Can't remember. He is quality. Got these two guys that I just decided to keep, um, even though they're from something more modern. I've forgotten the toy line they're from, but they're pretty cool. I just like the look of them, so he's like the Dark Knight, and that is a Minotaur. 
And then this is the only thing I've got from Twilight Zone. And this is Bob Gale from, um, uh, Bob Wilson, sorry, from um, Nightmare 20,000 Feet um, from the Twilight Zone. This is one of my favourite series of all time. If you haven't checked it out, and I mean the original Twilight Zones, the black and white ones, check them out. Some of the storytelling is just phenomenal. Um, and it's so ahead of its time. Just check it out. And they're short and sweet. They're only like 20-minute episodes. Now I've got this Beetlejuice, which is the start of my collection, basically. This is all of it in its entirety. I've got this little weird guy. He's pretty cool looking. I've got the, I think it's the Phantom Cycle or something like that. I can't remember what it's called, Phantom Flyer. Um, picked it up last year for about three quid. And I got this Beetlejuice who has the little head underneath. Let me see if I can get his big head off. There you go, there's his little head. Try and get it to focus. That's pretty cool. Just place that one on top. I've got the uh, Night Watcher. Night Watcher Raph. Um, really awesome, just missing his helmet. But I've got the bike and his suit. I've got this cool looking foot soldier on a bike that flips. Um, the bike just looks so cool, so I decided to keep it. I've just got that little sort of section there of bikes. And then this quality picture that I got last year from my little cousin. He drew it for me and I picked up this frame. Really love that. Now, the last two. This is probably my favourite two shelves. And they are the CGI 2007 line. This is all the enemies I've got. So I've got the little Jersey Devil here. I've got, I can't remember what this guy's name is, but it's not properly featured in the film, but it's from the Monster Hunter series, which is basically a monster and one of the figures, one of the four turtles. I got Buzz Rock here, which has minus his head, which is one of the rare UK exclusive figures. And Multiflex is also one of the rare exclusive figures. He is one of my favourite figures. Not just in his toy line, one of my fig favourite figures I own. Picked him up for a pound at car boot two years ago. Absolutely amazing day that was. And then this is the last figure I've got currently, which I only got a couple of weeks ago. And this is Shredder with all his accessories. He is the only figure I've got complete. Let me try to get an awesome looking guy. You can't actually see his eyes. I think the helmet's a bit too high. There you go. Um... He's the only figure I've got with all complete, and I picked him up for an absolute steal for 20 quid for that guy. First of three foot soldiers with one of the um, accessories. I got Frashmore there, who sports like a massive mallet sort of gun thing or whatever. This gold accessory. Um, I got another foot soldier there who has a weapons rack behind him. I got this false foot soldier there, so I got three of them. Um, with this little knife there and then I got the four guardians here um, I've forgotten their names again but they are so cool looking a couple of them don't work so I am looking to get ones that do work and swap for them so that is my enemy section now for my hero section I've got Splinter with his staff Really awesome looking. Some of the Splinter Cat figures are so cool. Got Casey Jones that I picked up not too long ago with one of the golf clubs and two baseball bats there. And his bag, caddy bag. Really awesome. And then I got the three main turtles. I've got Mikey there, Leo, Donatello, and Raph. Raph has got both his size. Donatello does not have his bow. Um... Leonardo doesn't have any of his katanas either, but Mikey does have his two nunchucks, which you can see there. And then I've got the Monster Hunter line, which I've got all four of them, but I don't have all their helmets. I've got Mikey there, which has got no accessories. I've got Leo there with his two katanas and his helmet so and his gun, so he is almost complete. I've got Donnie there with his helmet and his accessory on his hand. 
I got Raf with two of his size, but I don't have his helmet. And then the final figure, I got another Mikey wearing the head that comes from the Cowabunka Carl van, which is on top of it. You can take it off, and what I really like, a really nice touch, because Mikey in the films, at the beginning, he does kids' parties as a mascot. And obviously everyone thinks he's just a guy dressed up as a turtle. He wears that big head, which I've got there. So, thank you very much. That is my room tour. Um... Ah, one last thing, and this is my new set of shelves that I got last year. Um, yeah, it's got LED lights put all on the back. Um, I'm really pleased with it. Looks pretty awesome. What I'll do, I'll grab the remote and I'll quickly just mess around with the colours again. So you can see from a distance. So there's red, one of my favourites. There's a green... There's blue, there's the white, and there is other colours, and you can do things like fades, or just let it jump. Anyway, let's turn that off, and hopefully you can see some of the glow-in-the-dark items when I turn off this light. So, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Hope you like this room tour. Um... Check out my Instagram, Facebook, and my eBay store, Tommy Toothpaste Toys. Thank you very much for all your support, and I'll see you next time.